Oh, hey there. So we are back with charts and graphs plugin. So now I'm going to show you how to use radial bar. So if you come to the left side, there is this element called radial bar here. If you add it in the design, this is the element where it asks for title in the chart settings. You can give the title here. Then the chart data where you can give labels for the radial bar. I've given two labels, category A and B, and the data for each of the labels, which is 40 and 70. So if we come to the demo, this is the radial bar, where there are two categories. First is category A and category B. So category A is 40, category B is 70%. As we have given here, in the series data, A is 40, B is 70%. So this is based on the percentage of the circle, how much it covers. So as respect to that, we have given the angles as well in the radial bar settings. First, uh, the start of the angle is zero and ending is 360. So it will be a full circle and you can edit that based on your choice. So then comes the hollow margin. If you go to the demo page, you can see this is a hollow area, but you can't see the margin here because the reason is the background of the hollow is white. So you won't be able to see the margin. So if I change it to red again, now you'll be able to see the margin of the hollow area. This is the margin uh, as you can see here. So if I want to increase the margin, I'll change it to 10. Now you can see this circle is increasing as you can see, and the hollow part is decreasing. So if I want to increase the hollow area, I'll put this to 50. The hollow area is increased and the margin is tiny amount. So this is the hollow margin. So I'll change it to the original value. Then comes the hollow size. Now you can see there is a lot of size of the hollow. So if I come to the hollow size, which is 50, if I want to decrease the hollow area, I'll change this to 20. Now, instead of this growing, you will see that the whole thing will go down. So now you can see the margin is as it is, but the highlighted areas increases and the hollow area also decreases. So this is the hollow size. And I'll also give the hollow background is white. So now comes the line cap. So what the line cap means is, so this is already in square. So if you come to the demo page, you can see the lines are in square ends. So if I change this to round, so if I change it to round, so it is a circular end now or a round end as we have given here. That's the line cap. Then the track, if I click on track, you can give the track color. So if I change this to some more grayish, you can see the remaining part, which is incomplete for the circle will be shown. And that's the track, how much it needs to cover. That's the tracking area. Then the fill type, you can change the colors of the uh, circles. And then you can give the colors to the, the highlighted areas. So you can give colors here. First is blue and then the black as we have given the uh, here, category A, which is blue, and category B is black. Then the advanced customization. Here you can give the opacity to the chart. Then the toolbar, it will be on top of the chart. Then the data labels. So if you hover on it, you can see that. Then the chart height and width, you can change that. Then the animation, you can give it to the chart. So yeah, this is how you create a radial bar chart in Charts and Graphs plugin. Thank you.